hello viewers welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my video thank you for subscribing please if you're here to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload new video in today's tutorial we are going to be making a palazzo jumpsuit and it will be an up shoulder jumpsuit so i'll be using this ankara fabric for it this ankara is three years so i'm going to make use of this fabric first i'm going to be cutting the damp panel of our jumpsuit and i'll be folding my fabric into two so i'll mark out this line measurement so this is where I'm going to start my measurement from okay the length I'm working with is 60 inches and I'm going to be minusing my half length to get the length I'm working with the half length I'm working with is 17 inches so here is 60 inches and I'll be using one and a half inch for folding allowance so this is the length i'm working with and here is folding allowance towards this folded side i will go in here by one inch to get hip curve so i'm going to mark out my hip line nine inches i will also rule it out so this is my hip line for my crotch line I'm going to move away from this hip line. I will measure 3 inches. So I'm using 3 inches for my. I also mark this out. So this is my crotch line. This is hip line. Waist line. And here I'm moving here by 1 inch to get hip curve. So I will connect this down to my hip line. Now I will take my waist measurement and this one that I'm cutting now is the front damp panel of this jumpsuit. I'm cutting the front damp panel first. So see where I'm starting my measurement. From this one inch that I move in here towards the folded side, I will take my waist measurement, divide by four. The waist I'm working with is 30. 6 inches 36 divided by 4 will give us 9 inches so here is 9 inches i will add 1 inch for that and 2 inches for seam allowance the hip that i'm working with is 44 inches 44 divided by 4 will give us 11 inches i will also add 2 inches for seam allowance and I'm dividing waist and hip measurements by four. The crotch measurement, which is rand laps, I will divide it by two. And the rand laps that I'm working with is 27 inches. 27 divided by two will give us 13 and a half. I will also add two inches for seam allowance. So I'm going to connect from my waist to hip length then from this hip length curve it to this crotch length this is it or you can use your ruler to connect it like this from your hip length you mark it down to your crotch length So at this hemline, I will move in here also by one inch since it will be a palazzo jumpsuit. So I will connect it down to this one inch here. So this place depends on how wide you want yours to be. So I'll be using 11 inches here. That's 22 inches, 22 divided by 2. Remember, we are dividing our crotch line and our we are dividing our round laps and this round hem line by 2. So here I'm using 22 inches. 
divide by two will give us 11 inches and here i'll be adding one inch for same allowance so i'm going to use my ruler to rule it from this crotch length down to this place so this is it so if you don't want yours to be this wide we can reduce the inches here remember i use 11 inches here that's 22 divided by 2 and then add one inch for seam allowance and i'll go ahead and cut it out so this is it i'll also cut out the down back panel of this jumpsuit so i'll also fold my fabric into two for the back Damp panel of this jumpsuit, you also fold your fabric into two. Use this front one, place it on top of it. So, this is it for the back side. You also place this front one on top of your fabric, and this fabric is folded into two. So, at this hip line here, towards the folded side, I will measure out one inch connect this one inch down to my hip line then this place will be straight down to hem line now at this up here i will move up here by one inch on this front part i also move down here by half inch and then slant it. I'm going to give it a slant curve. Remember this front one, move down by half inch, slant it. To this place. Also connect this one inch that I moved up here down to this place. So this is it to so come down here. So I'm going to use this stroke to press it up. So this is what I did on this front panel. You move down here by half inch, slant it up here. On this back one, move up by one inch also slant it down to this place now on this crotch line you move away by one and a half inch at the hemline also move away by one inch then connect it with my ruler this is it you mark from your cross line down to this one inch that I move away at this hem line. Also connect from your connect from here down to this move it up. So here will be straight. Also cut out the same thing down to this one and a half inches that I move. Away here from. So we'll go ahead and cut it out. Also cut this one and a half.
So this is it. So we we'll go ahead and cut out the upper part. For the upper part, it will be an off shoulder, so I will cut out the back first. I'll be using one and a half inch for zip allowance so I'll mark out one and a half inch for zip allowance here okay this is my zip allowance I'm using one and a half inch for zip allowance for this up shoulder I'm minusing six inches so this is where I'm going to start my measurement from So from here, I will minus 6 inches to get my half length. And the half length I'm working with is 17 inches. I'll be adding 1 inch for folding allowance. Okay, this is it. This is half length and joining allowance. Shoulder to bust line is 12 inches. And the bust I'm working with is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 will give us 10 and a half inches. So I'll be using 2 inches for same allowance. The waist I'm working with is 36 inches. 36 divided by 4 will give us 9 inches. I will take 1 inch for that. 2 inches for same allowance. So I will connect. And for the armhole, I'm using 5 inches width. Also 5 inches depth here. So I will give it a slant curve like this. And this armhole, there's also room for adjustment. If you don't want yours to be this wide, you can use lesser than this also. For the back neckline, I'm using one and a half inch for the depth. Then from this place that I marked five inches, curve it. So this one and a half inches for the back neckline. That is it. So I will go ahead and cut it out. For the front part, also fold my fabric into two. Take my half length. Remember, we are minusing six, six inches to get half length. Also, mark it out. So this is it. The bust to bust measurement that I'm working with is eight inches divided by two will give us four inches and i'll be adding half inch for seam allowance this half inch depend on what you sew with you can choose to sew with lesser than half inch so i will mark it down to my half length and also connect it with my ruler This is it. Shoulder to bust line is 12 inches. Don't forget you also minus 6 inches to get your shoulder to bust line. 
Now where I mark shoulder to bust line, I will go down here by one inch. Also go up here by one inch. Towards this folded side, I will move in here by one inch. Towards the unfolded side, I will measure out one and a half inches. I still repeat the same thing at this half length. So I'm going to connect from this one inch that I measured here down to this one inch that I marked up here. Also connect this one and a half inch to this place. Still repeat the same thing. This one inch that I marked down here connect it to this one inch to this one and a half inch. So this is it. I will take my bust measurement 42 divide by 4 will give us 10.5. Also take 2 inches for seam allowance. At this half length I will divide my waist measurement by 4. The waist I'm working with is 36 inches. Divide by 4 will give us 9 inches. Remember that I measured out 1.5 inches from this side, 1 inch from this side. Together it will give us 2.5 inches. I will also add it up here. Then take my same allowance, 2 inches. Connect it from boss length I also take my armhole measurement 5 inches depth and 5 inches width slant it so this is it I will go ahead and cut it out I'm cutting this place out. Also cut this out. This is it. So I also cut out the wooden that I'll be using for them and also cut out the lining. Join this together. This is how I'm going to join. I'm going to stitch it from here. Open it up. Also join this side. And I will also cut out the lining the same way. Line them and also line the back one. So for the sleeve, I'm going to use this for the sleeve. First of all, fold into two. Then fold it again, making it into four. The length of the sleeve that I'm working with is 19 inches. And I'll be using one inch for folding allowance. Remember here that we measured out 5 inches for armhole. So this is it for the armhole. So I'm going to cut it out. Also open up this place. I'm going to be attaching elastic to this sleeve so this is it two sleeve and that will be all for the cutting of this palazzo jumpsuit 
Okay, I finish lining them. This is the true front. And this is the true back. And this is the sleeve. This is the upper part, the front side. And this is the back side of the upper part. So for the front one, I'm going to join this together. So I'm going to join this crotch line together. So I'll go to my machine and stitch this place. For the back side, I'm going to join the upper part and the down part together. This is the zip side. will be towards this crotch line here. And this is the dart facing each other. So I'm going to join it like this. Stitch here. Still repeat the same thing on this second part. Okay, this is the back side. I'll join the upper part and the down panel together. I use one and a half inches for zip allowance. I will also mark it out. So the length of my zip, I'll use 18 inches. So I'm going to attach zip from here to this place, then close it up like this. And this is the front part. I also join it up like this. The next thing now to do is to take body measurement. The ones that I'm working with is 42 inches divided by 2. Now we are dividing our measurement by 2. 42 divided by 2 will give us 21 inches for the first measurement. So I will mark 21 inches and also check what is remaining 2 inches here take one inch from here also one inch from here the ones I'm working with is 36 inches 36 divided by 2 will give us 18 inches I will also check what is remaining 2 inches take one from here Also take one from here. So for the hip measurement, determine your hip line, nine inches. For the hip measurement, I will also divide it by two. The hip that I'm working with is forty-four inches. Forty-four divided by two will give us twenty-two inches. I'm going to add ease to my hip measurement. So I'm adding what for ease. Now what is remaining now is three inches. I will divide it into two. Check from here. Take one and a half from here. Then connect the line. I'm going to stitch this straight like this. Down to my hemline also connect this one so at this crotch line i'm going to close it up like this this seam line facing towards the seam line so i'm going to stitch like this down to the hem line and also stitch here down to the hem line also also fold here with one and a half inches like this so for the sleeve i'm going to be attaching elastic to it so i'll measure two inches away from this place this is how i'm going to attach the elastic i will sew on top like this 
I'm going to stitch it on top like this. Still repeat the same thing on this one. This is it. I'll join both sides together. And this is the sleeve. So this is how to attach the sleeve. Right side forward facing towards the right side. So I'm going to stitch it like this. Also stitch this one like this. Then close the two sides and also repeat the same thing on this side of this sleeve. 